Hi, my name is Rachel Clausen. I'm 5'11 and I'm represented by the Krasny office. Thank you. I think we'll go back, hmm? Shall we go home? Why? Well, we were only here for a few days, weren't we? We might as well cut it short, I think. Why? Don't you like it here? Of course I do, but I'd like to go back and see the boys. But don't you like your family? Which family? Your family here? Of course I like them. What are you talking about? You don't like them as much as you thought you did? Of course I do. Of course I like them. I don't know what you're talking about. Listen, you know what time of day it is there now? Do you? What? It's morning. It's about 11 o'clock. Is it? Yes, they're about six hours behind us. I mean, behind the, behind the time here. The boys will be at the pool now, swimming. Think of it. Morning over there. Sun. We'll go anyway, hmm? It's so clean there. Clean? Yes. Is it dirty here? No, of course not. But it's cleaner there. Look, I just brought you back to meet the family, didn't I? You've met them? We can go. The fall semester will be starting soon. You find it dirty here? I didn't say I find it dirty here. I didn't say that. Look, I'll go and pack. You rest for a while, will you? They won't be back for at least an hour. You can sleep. Rest. Please. You can help me with my lectures when we get back. I'd love that. I'd be so grateful for it, really. We can bathe till October. You know that? Here, there's nowhere to bathe, except the swimming bath down the road. You know what it's like? It's like a urinal. A filthy urinal. You liked Venice, didn't you? It was lovely, wasn't it? You had a good week. I mean, I took you there. I can speak Italian. But if I'd been a nurse in the Italian campaign, I'd have been there before. You just rest. I'll go and pack. Well, the evenings are drawing in. Yes, it's getting dark. Winter will soon be upon us. Time to renew one's wardrobe. <laughs> That's a good thing to do. What? I always. Do you like clothes? Oh yes, very fond of clothes. I'm fond. <laughs> oh, what do you think of my shoes? They're very nice. No. I can't get the ones I want over there. Can't get them over there, eh? No. You don't get them there. I was a model before I went away. Hats? I bought a girl a hat once. We saw it in a glass case in a shop. I tell you what it had. It had a bunch of daffodils on it, tied with a black satin bow, and then it was covered with a cloche of black mailing. <laughs> a cloche, I'm telling you. <laughs> she was made for it. No. I was a model for the body. A photographic model for the body. Indoor work? That was before I had all my children. No. Not always indoors. No. Once or twice, we went to this place in the country by train. We used to pass this large white water tower. And this place, this house, it was very big. And the trees, it was by a lake, you see. We used to change in the house and then walk down towards the lake on this path on stones there were on this path oh 
oh, we're just, yes. <laughs> um, when we changed in the house, we had a drink. <laughs> there was this cold buffet. <sighs> Sometimes we stayed in the house, but most often we went down to the lake and we did our modeling there. Just before I went to America, I went down there. I walked from the station to the gate and I walked up the drive. The lights were on. I stood in the drive. The house was very light. Excuse me, shall I take this ashtray out of your way? It's not in my way. It seems to be in the way of your glass. The glass was about to fall, or the ashtray. I'm rather worried about the carpet. It's not me, it's my father. He's obsessed with order and clarity. He doesn't like mess. So, as I don't believe you're smoking at the moment, I'm sure you'll inject if I move the ashtray. And now perhaps I'll relieve you of your glass. I, I haven't finished. You've consumed quite enough, in my opinion. No, I haven't. Quite enough, in my own opinion. Not in mine, Leonard. Don't call me that, please. Why not? That's the name my mother gave me. Just give me the glass. No. I'll take it then. If you take the glass, I'll take you. How about me taking the glass without you taking me? Why don't I just take you? You're joking. You're in love, anyway, with another man. <laughs> You've had a secret liaison with another man. His family didn't even know. Then you come here without a word of warning and start to make trouble. Have a sip. Go on. Have a sip from my glass. Sit on my lap. Take a long, cool sip. Put your head back and open your mouth. Take that glass away from me. Lie on the floor. Go on. I'll pour it down your throat. What are you doing? Making some kind of proposal? <laughs> oh, I was thirsty. You can come home with me. We'd get you a flat. A flat? Yes. Where? In town. But you'd live here with us. Of course you would. This would be your home. In the bosom of the family. You just pop over up to the flat for a couple of hours a night. That's all. Just a couple of hours. That's all. That's all. And you make enough money to keep you going here. How many rooms would this flat have? Not many. I'd want at least three rooms and a bathroom. You wouldn't need three rooms and a bathroom. She'd need a bathroom, but not three rooms. Oh, I would. Really. Two would do. No. Two wouldn't be enough. I'd want a dressing room, a restroom, and a bedroom. All right. We'll get you a flat with three rooms and a bathroom. With what kind of conveniences? All conveniences. A personal maid? Of course. We'd finance you to begin with, and then when you were established, you could pay us back. In installments. Oh no, I wouldn't agree to that. Oh, why not? You would have to regard your original outlay simply as a capital investment. I see. All right. You'd supply my wardrobe, of course. We'd supply everything. Everything you need. Oh, I'd need an awful lot. Otherwise, I wouldn't be content. You'd have everything. I would naturally want to draw up an inventory of everything I'd need, which would require your signatures in the presence of witnesses. Naturally. All aspects of the agreement and conditions of employment would have to be clarified to our mutual satisfaction before we finalize the contract. Of course. Well, it might be a workable arrangement. I think so. 
And you'd have the whole of your daytime free, of course. You could do a bit of cooking here if you wanted to. Make the beds. Scrub the place out of it. Keep everyone company.